Yeah, but I wanted to ask, with these books, you said each one's about 100 pages. The chapters, as I went through them, all end at about the, the same spot. Do you have some specific rules or a formula you've created? Obviously, each story has its own separate demands and different things that you're trying to express. But do you have some rigid rules for how you produce a Sophie Washington book? Um, I actually do. I never thought of it as rigid as that way when you said, but I, um, I write them in when I'm writing in Scrivener, they're about a thousand words each per chapter and they're all 20 chapters, 20 or 21. So I always kind of make them in that framework. And then I, I'm not really a plot, you know, with plotter and pants or I guess I'm more of a pantser, but I do have a loose outline for each book. So when I come up with the idea, I'll make headings for most of the chapters of what they're going to be about. And then I'll write in there about a thousand words for each chapter. So you've got a, a decent idea how you're going to end them. Yes. But sometimes I don't know the ending when I start a book. I don't always know the ending, but I know they're going to be within that framework. I try to keep them within that framework because that's what those readers are expecting. They want it to be that, you know, it's, they're usually that length and that's kind of meets their little expectation. And then most of the books around that are like that, that I've modeled them after, they're kind of around that length in that way.